Hey guys, I'm Miss Sydney. I'm one of the preschool teachers at Carpenter and um, I'm gonna take you guys through the next packet that you either have already gotten or will probably be getting today. They were mailed out last week. Um, but before we start that, <clears throat> I just wanna remind you guys that your last packet is due today at school or you can send pictures or videos to your child's teacher, so don't forget to do that. Um, <clears throat> the preschool teachers worked really hard on making um, this new packet and we kind of wanted to take a different approach. This time we had seen these from other schools and thought it was cool. So we went ahead and did something called a choice board. Um, and for this board, instead of having you guys do everything in the packet, we thought it would be fun for the kids to have a choice. So I'll show you how this works. Um, there's one for the week of May 4th through 8th, and then there's one for the week of May 11th through 15th. Um, and so for the first week, you'll look at the first one, and there's a little box, and in each of the little boxes, there's an activity. <clears throat> Some of the activities, um, you know, is a every day of the week. So it has like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So um, that one is like writing your name. So if you're going to write your name, um, the kid has to do it every, <clears throat> every day that week. And what you do is you take your little pen and if they write their name on Monday, you would mark through. If they write it on Tuesday, you'd mark through. Wednesday, etc. Um, some of them are QR codes. This will take you to like a video or a story for them to watch. Um, and all you have to do is open up the camera on your phone and scan that QR code and it'll take your child right to the video. Pretty cool. Um, there are others um, that have a page behind in the packet. So like this one um, is a little poem and right under the activity will tell you what page of the packet you can find that on, um, and all of the pages are numbered. So this one says page five, so you're just gonna turn to page five of the packet, um, and there should be a number at the bottom, and there's the activity, okay? Um, <clears throat> then, all you need to do with your choice board is when your child has completed that activity, they get to color in the box. So, um, if I've done all of my starlight, star bright activity, I can come in and color that box. If I went and listened to a butterfly story video, I can come in and color that box. Okay, and the goal for each week is for the child to complete 10 of the 20 activities. So that's about two per day. You can do them all if you want. Um, that's great, we would love for you to do that. But a realistic thing for you guys to do would be two activities today, a day, um, which would get you um, to color in 10 of the boxes. So that's the challenge, is to fill in 10 boxes and color them when, you're com when you've completed it. All right, so <clears throat> now, I'm going to take you guys through um, each of the weeks of activities. Um, so that was just a little introduction um, for how the game boards work. And in the next video, I'm going to start with week one and take you through the activities in the packet one by one to help you um, through those. Thanks for watching. Click on the next video for week one, and the video after that will be for um, the week of May 11th through 15th.